Hey everyone, how's it going? Thought I'd do a video on a real cool little thing that I got. Um, one of my wife's relatives, we do the, the gift thing where you, at Christmas, you exchange, you draw names, that way people don't have to buy gifts for everyone. And so my niece's, or my wife's nephew, got my name and got me a $50 Amazon gift card. $40 the limit, but we usually go 50 um, which is cool. Perfect. Just what I wanted. He he lives in Toronto and doesn't really know what I want, and I don't know what he wants either. So gift cards are always awesome in situations like that, and an Amazon gift card is awesome. So I didn't buy anything right away. I just kind of looked, and I saw in a Facebook group somebody had mentioned one of these, and so I did some researching online on Amazon and various other places, and and a whole bunch of people make them. Most of them are made by the same people, but some of them are better than others. Um, this particular one had really good reviews and even the negative reviews were positive in that the people who got them the negative reviews said it didn't work out of the box it wouldn't hold a charge or take a charge the positive side is the company that sold it took it back no questions asked sent them a new one or just let them keep the old one and sent them a new one anyway so excellent customer service all around so what it is is as you can see solar charger power bank portable charger it's a heavy little box. Just arrived in the mail. It took surprisingly very little time. Two days from the time I ordered it. So it comes with a little card, which I thought was interesting. They want you to leave a review for them on Amazon, which always helps companies like this. You know, positive feedback is really important. Um, so yeah, that's the company. Hi Lucky or Hi Lucky. Um, yeah, I mean they. They do have a website of their own, you can see. Where are we? There we go. I'll read it out to you anyway. It's www.hillucky.com. Um, I've had it out. Let me just open it again. It comes with instructions, of course. Um, there we go, blah, blah, blah. I find it interesting that the instructions, they're not, they're not in Chinese. There's no Chinese here. Uh, it looks like German or Dutch. I don't know. Someone out there can probably tell me what this is. Uh, I don't even know. Does it say where it's made? Um, no, it does not. We'll see in the box. No, it is. It is indeed made in China. Uh, so it's a 25,000 milliamp solar charger. Black, you can get them in black and orange with the two colors. It comes very well packaged. It has one of these boxes so it won't slide around. And it comes with a little USB charge cord. So you can charge it with this USB on any USB, like the computer output, and this plugs into the power bank to charge it. Or, as you'll show you, it has solar. So it's about the size of an iPhone. Well, a little bigger. There's an iPhone there. And there's the charger, the thingy. So it's just slightly bigger. There you go. And it, it is fairly heavy. And so that's it. It's a hard plastic case with a leather fold out solar panel. So it has a snap on the end. Pop that. And this is this is really cool. It folds out there. So there's a solar panel there. One more. Another solar panel. Two more solar panels. So it has four solar panels. And it has on the, the battery bank itself, it has this little pull-out thing. It's a little loop there, right there, that you can hang it from something, you know, pound a nail into a tree and hang it, whatever you want to hang it somewhere. Um, that's really cool. These, these, from what I've read the reviews, it charges in about two hours in full sun, and you can get, you can charge your regular iPhone from dead to full about four times with it or more. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. It's hard to say, but it, like all these power banks, the booster packs that are about the same size, it also has a, oh well, first I'll show you here. 
a little indicator lights to tell you how charged it is here. You know, of course, one, two, three, four, they'll go down as it's dead. And if you hit the light and hold it, you get a flashlight. Hit it again, flashes out SOS. Hit it again, and it strobes. Hit it again, it's off. And those indicator lights will go off on their own. And so on the same end that the flashlight is on, it has, pull that up, two USB ports, one there, one there. Uh, what are those called? Micro USB ports. And this one on the very bottom here is the, the charger. That's how you can charge it one of the ways. Plug that in there. There we go. And then just plug that into any USB port and it'll charge in roughly two hours. So, it's pretty cool. It's It's got really good reviews. Uh, a lot of people take it camping and hiking and stuff. And the worst thing I've seen anybody say about it is it's heavy. And I don't know what it weighs. I'm going to guess two pounds, maybe. I mean, it's not terribly heavy, but if you're, you're hiking and stuff and trying to save weight, it is. So the specs on it are, it's model FSP006, solar panel 5.5 volts, 6 watts, battery capacity 3.7, 25,000 milliamps, um, input 5 volts, 2 amp max, output 5 volts, 2 amp max, um, don't throw it in the fire or water, blah blah blah, made in China. So yeah, it's pretty cool, super handy, and it, it came charged up. So I'll just take the phone here, ordinary phone, plug it into the USB port. There we go. It's already charged, but you heard it come on. Too much light reflection there. There we go. So that's it. It's really cool. Super handy. Um, if you're on a long trip on vacation or something and you don't have access to a, a charger or a USB port, um, something like that, super handy. Um, I imagine I'm going to get quite a bit of use of this. Uh, it's also good if you're you're shooting video with your phone and you can just carry this with you and plug it in if your battery is running low just plug it in um, another use is I have some some cameras that I use they're just cheap little I got them online they're genie brand you'll see it right there and they're completely wireless they want to run off the internet off the wireless internet in the house and I can view them on my phone I'd show you but I'm recording this with my phone here this is my wife's phone and I have an app where I can view. I've got them placed all over the place, some facing outside, one in my music room downstairs, um, actually two facing the front deck. I have cameras all over the place. And so if you wanted to put those in a location that, that isn't your plug-in, because they have the USB cord and it plugs into a USB wall adapter, you could just plug one of those cameras into there and put the camera anywhere that we would need to be near a plug-in or anything like that. Um, it makes those cameras totally like wireless in a sense. So yeah, anyway, to the nitty gritty, it was $50.99 Canadian. So I don't know what that would work out to US, $1.75, really cheap. Um, and again, I said, this is really good reviews out of all of them. I did my research before buying it. So if any of you are curious, there's the, the brand and yeah, on Amazon. I'll, I'll give give a further review once I've used it a few times, let you guys know what I think. But so far, I'm pretty happy with it. For 50 bucks, it's it's pretty cool. Um, not too sure how accurate the 25,000 milliamps is. Eh, I don't know. But I'm not expecting it to, you know, jumpstart a car. If it'll charge a cell phone and a laptop a couple times, I'm happy with it. So yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, have a good day. Take it easy. Keep on being you. See, See you later.